All right, welcome back, everybody. Tonight, we are continuing our journey with the House of the Dragons. And we're on episode five. So, last episode, we had Damon come back to the city after he killed the crab feeder guy and the king of the narrow sea. He came back and gave his crown over to. His brother, I guess his brother's all gave him a big old hug and welcome him back home for now. And then he took Renaris out for a night on the town. Literally. Try to, try to, try to hook up with his I niece. I still like him, but yeah. Try to hook up with his niece and left her there. Mm-hmm. He was trying to do that to show her there's a world outside yeah, that you really outside. don't know about. So how can you rule if you don't know what's going on? That's what I think. That's what his thought yeah. process was. Then old, fuck, then old dummy Otto, of course, had his, he got fired. Had his spies and he got fired. Told the king about it, and then the king got mad. Beat beat up beat Damon. Kicked him around. Because she kicked said, him out of the city and then. The only way that I do, <coughs> do what I tell you, daddy. Yeah. If you fire your hand. And the Renera said she would go along with marrying whoever. But she had to do its kingly duties and get rid of Otto because she, he's spying on me. And, 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 she slept with her car. Oh, yeah, she didn't mess around with old Sir Kristen Cole. Can't imagine no more. Yeah, I mean that's not a that's but, not a uh, good thing. But they gonna but find course, out when she get me. Of course, she lied <laughs> and said she was, but now she gotta keep lying about it. Which... But if we had a go ahead, come yeah. on, let's go. All right, let's see what happens now. Let's go. I have decided to take a new wife. I intend to marry. The Lady Alice and Hightower. Hmm. When you bore the king's son, you ended 15 years of uncertainty and doubt. The road ahead is uncertain, but the end is clear. Aegon will be king. Damon and Rhaenyra were seen together, coupling. Hmm. You have ruined her. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Wed her to me. You are already wed. Damon never touched me. I swear this to you. What do you care? That's what my papa said. Oh, right. She perches upon your throat. What vulture? Your hands. Alison, she was a calculated distraction. I only now realize how well calculated. Mm. Your judgment has been compromised. Yeah. Yeah. What? Shady old dude. What? It was a calculated. Very calculated. Move that he did. And she went right along with it. Yeah. So I wonder if he's gonna change his how he moves with her now. I doubt it. <laughs> Who the king? Yeah. I doubt it. Tomorrow, Lady Rear. Cousin? What's today's quarry? Rabbit? Deer. Mm-hmm. Care for some company? I'd rather ride alone. Mm-hmm. Geese? Welcome, sir. Huh? Pheasant. Who the heck is this? Husband? <laughs> What brings you to the veil? Or have you at last come to consummate our marriage? <laughs> or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company? Cast you aside in favor of a little girl. Mm. What will you do now? Will you strike the child down? Burn you? Uh. Who got? Oh! Oh, 
what the heck? Why did he do that for? Oh, so he want to marry whoever he want to marry, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. I knew you couldn't finish. Oh, Lord, what, girl? Why you do that? Oh, Lord, girl, why you do that? Just, you should just let him walk away. For real. Should just let him walk away. I don't know. I understand why some women get want to provoke. Mm mm. I can't see that. Oh, why you show me that? Oh my god. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I see all that rocking and stuff. That make anybody sick. For real. You don't feel that on a cruise ship because it's so big. Mm -hmm. Most smaller is like. Well, nah, sometimes I feel it on a cruise ship. Yeah, in a storm or something. But no. You don't feel it like in a smaller boat. I still feel it. Large boat, small boat. What? What's she say? I do not wish to see you go. You chose Renewa. She swore her innocence. And I believed her. You wanted to believe her, as did her father. Hey, you gonna blame her? Really? Listen to me, daughter. The king will die. It may be months or years, but he'll not live to be an old man. And if Renewa succeeds him, war will follow. Do you understand? The realm will not accept her. You know it. Well, you may. The time is coming, Alison. Either you prepare Egon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. What you crying for? You did there? He pretty much said he did all this so, so her child can rule, not his daughter. Uh -huh. When he named the heir, he still defiled his king. Mm -hmm. So you see, you don't see your wrongdoing? I do not wish for you to leave. Well, go on with your daddy then, girl. <laughs> I'll be like, go on with your daddy. Where are you taking her to? The Lannisters? No, I think it's the... Oh, the... The white hair people. Yeah. Where well, ain't nobody there? Where is Lord Corliss? He should be here to receive the king. Uh. Welcome to High Tide, Your Grace. My father has but just returned from his long journey. And he has hastened to the Hall of Nine to await Your Grace's arrival. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> An outsider among the natives. Lord Laris. The weather has been lovely. Indeed. And yet it is a dark day for the realm. Why? Your father was a good... Whatever. Come on, on. As is yours, who took his place. You're perhaps in need of an ally. I'm the queen. I have no shortage of allies. Naturally. Princess Rhaenyra, for example. State your purpose, my lord. Here we go. I did wonder if she could be relied upon now that she's unwell. Unwell? Unwell? I haven't heard anything. Begging your pardon, your grace, I may be mistaken. <laughs> People get on mad. Is that on the very same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the Princess's chambers? A tea? Yes. That the Grand Maester himself brought? At the direction of the king is... See? You see what I'm saying? Always some canal and people. Rhaenyra sailed with the king to Driftmark. Yesterday, at daybreak. Oh, what good news. I must have been in error. Take your crippled tail on somewhere for... <laughs> Knock that dog on. Ain't a whip my buddy. You <laughs> your ugly tail. Go on. on. To have been wrong. Look like he eyes all cross eyed at every time. Sneaky little booger in me. Mm -hmm. You know what I do? I kick that dog on. <laughs> Can't a whip up on him. He be falling. Hmm. He going. Go he ain't going to supper. He probably ain't going to supper. Mm. 
Why is wife here? Mm -hmm. Your grace. <coughs> Rise, Lord Corlys. Mm. He even sounds sick. Cousin. Are you well? Very. Zé, you missing some fingers. Mm, yeah. His grace has honored me with the post. Oh, is that his brother? That little cripple man? Yeah. Though I do wish we could meet under happier pretenses. How so? Damon's wife, the Lady Rhea Royce, has passed. A hunting mishap. She was thrown from her horse. Hmm. Lady Rhea's skill as both rider and hunter were well known. Lady Rhea was a fine woman and a good wife to my brother. Mayhaps we can turn toward happier pursuits. <laughs> no, thank what you. did you have in mind, Your Grace? What are you sick of? I wish to propose a marriage between your son, Selena, and my daughter and heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. Oh, now you want to. That's what he said. Honor both me and my house. But? There are certain details I would wish clarified before the Princess Rhaenys and I could accept this most generous <laughs> What details? Oh. We would like to know how the succession will be handled. What's the session? <laughs> when he die? Rhaenyra is my heir. Upon my death, my throne and my titles will pass to her. She and Selena's firstborn child, regardless of gender, will inherit the Iron Throne from her. Can I presume that, in keeping with Westerosi tradition, their children would take their father's name? Surely, Lord Corlys. You are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter, simply because she is a woman. <laughs> I only seek clarity, Your Grace. Mm -mm. Upon their birth, Selena and Ronero's children shall take their father's name. However, at such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Hmm. Hmm. Are you going to accept this or what? Yeah, I better accept that. This is an equitable compromise. Yes, no. If there's nothing further. We say yeah. They say yeah. Some sneaky people. I know this union is not what you would choose. I hold nothing against your cousin. Dare I say it is a matter of taste. I know that whatever agreement being struck up there will not change your appetites, nor will it change mine. And what do you propose? That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm, and when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. Where is Lena? He and Rhaenyra are walking the coast. Good. Do they seem familiar? They grew up together. Familiarity is not at issue. <coughs> She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. What's his true nature? He's still young. He will outgrow it. Hello, biters. <laughs> For real? <laughs> I think so. I think that's why they were talking about taste. Oh. He had <laughs> Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Anyone fool enough to challenge your nearest claim will be crushed. It's what end, Corliss? Wealth, power, pride? Justice. By all rights, you should be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah, you, your, your ship then sail, your old tail. Don't only that man alone. That's a dream you might... Then Damon's wife, she just died. Dare you'd have to marry a woman. Now it comes. I've come to meet my fate and you make a jape of it. That Rhaenyra will be queen of the Seven Kingdoms and you will be her king consort. I guess he is a pillar by the huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, for real, Lord Jesus. <laughs> mm. Well, I guess if they sleep with each other, family, each other, you know, if I, everything goes when it comes to this it, era, huh? Everything goes in the Game of Thrones world. She has a paramour of her own. She has a what? Paramour of her own. They sent him back. Good sleep for you as well this morning. I needed to see you, Princess. I've heard you say so many times how you loathe the lot of your position. Well, don't do this. Let her fulfill her duty. And y'all do what y'all do behind the scenes. If there were another part. One that led to freedom. Did you tread it? Are you 
asking for leave. I'm asking you to come with me. Away from all of this. From the burdens and indignities of your inheritance. Let us leave it all behind and see the world together. Mm-mm. But she must have laid it on her first time. I mean, like, <laughs> she laid it on her first time. <laughs> Why would he think he would want she want to want to give up her crown and just run off with you? A marriage for love, not for the crown. No, fulfill your duty. You better not, girl. I am the crown, so Kristen, or I will be. But do you think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges or a ship to a shy? It is my duty to marry a noble man from a great house, and Selena will make a fine husband. <laughs> so she pretty much said she ain't choosing you, buddy. Well, my, um, my marriage does not have to be the end. So Kristen, Selena and I have an understanding. So you want me to be your whore? I want us to continue as we began with you as my sworn protector, my white knight. I took an oath, an oath of chastity. I've broken it. I, 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 I saw my, my, my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. Oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> the Iron Throne looms larger than me, larger than anyone in my family. So Kristen, she whipped it on him. I'm just saying. She whipped it on him. She didn't even know what she was doing. And she whipped it on him. I'm just saying. Don't do this. Let's go get some bushes of oranges and sell the world. Don't become queen and rule the world. Let's just go, go for a boat ride. Of course, she met this. She about to Oh yeah, she gonna come confront her. Like mm -hmm. I thought she wasn't didn't do nothing. He about to drop. Told you. Get no, get back. Prepare the crew. Hmm. So Kristen, you've been summoned. I left the princess just minutes ago. Not the princess, sir. The queen. Be careful. <laughs> Stop popping out them babies. Sir Kristen, your grace. Heck, girl, your energy is what making them babies cry all the time. All right. Spoken, I guess. I fear I must question you on a, on a delicate matter, Sir Kristen. Oh, my God. I am your servant as always, my queen. Concerns our dear Princess Rhaenyra. Oh, no, my God. You better not open your mouth. Well, you know he is. He better not. I guarantee this punk ass is going to <laughs> spill the fucking beans. Shut up. <laughs> He... You are her sworn protector and rightly loyal to her. The night of Damon's return, there has been a rumor, or rather, my father received an accounting of a lapse of morals that may have occurred. What about yours? It is, of course, unthinkable for me to question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard. Mm. But not to. I, I did, however, wonder if I am not unaware that in the flush of youth, Maybe errors made. He's he's he hates it. What happened, Your Grace? What? What? What did he say? It happened. The sin you allude to. I have committed it. What? At her instigation, it is true, but that should it is no excuse. What the My oath has been broken. I have dishonored myself. You so you want your head cut off. I deserve no consideration. Oh my god, you dummy. That rather than gelding me and having me tortured. You would sentence me mercifully to death. You stupid. What is it with you? Are you in love with every man has every interest in, in her? Thank you for your honesty, Sir Kristen. He can't wait to tear. Because she hurt his feelings. Okay, I talk to men just like women sometimes. You may go. Well, she did say it when with Damon. She ain't lie about that. You ain't asked anybody else. I'm just saying. She gonna do a little run and tell her daddy. Rest now, Your Grace. 
I will bring the leeches. Mm-mm. To help him sleep. This arm look horrible. I'm gonna cut the whole thing off. Well, what's his name come in handy? Where's the creature? Sam. Yeah. You need Sam up. Sam. Given to understand that she has otherwise occupied your grace. She don't want to come in there with your skeleton. Eh? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Will I be remembered as a good king, Lionel? What will they say of thee when their histories are written? You have carried King Jaehaerys' legacy and kept the realm strong. There is a part of me who wishes I'd been tested. Many that are tested only wish to have been spared it. It is perhaps best not to know. Well, I hope them two get together. They're married before he dies. Mm, I guess we're going to get married. I hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His Grace, King Viserys, announces the start of the royal wedding celebration. Oh, good. House Lannister with their lord, Jason Lannister. House Hightower with their lord, Robert Hightower. Let's hurry up and get on with it. Blah, blah, hurry up and get on with it, Jesus. They take something and draw it out for I don't know how long. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have made a fine match for the princess. Thank you, Lord Jason. Where is the queen? I had hoped to pay my respects. I understand the queen is still readying herself for the celebrations. Thank you, Raggedy Teller. It was such a pleasure, Lord Jason. Princess, Your Grace. Where is she? Lord Corlys of House Valarian. And his lady wife, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. And their son and heir, Selena Valarian, the future king consort. Look at him, funky butt. Like <laughs> he want to die? You don't run to tell. My betrothed. My betrothed. Be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at him. <laughs> oh, Lord, he, he come with some mess. <laughs> He's like, I can marry her now, sister. <laughs> Be welcome as we join together in celebration. And tonight is only its beginning. We honor the crown's oldest and fiercest ally, House Valarian, with House Targaryen and ha mm -mm. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What? What's she doing? What? That's her house. Mm -hmm. The beacon on the high tower. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? Green. <laughs> Look at her. Congratulations, Stepdaughter. God, beat your tail. I will be her tail. Please be seated. Joining of the two houses, Your Grace. <laughs> I will be Alice's dead. You hear me? I burn her up. Valarian, united. I hope to herald in a second age of dragons. And after tonight's small affair, seven days of tournament and feasting. Seven days? You need to. Mm, we don't know if you're going to make it seven days. <laughs> I'm going to need you to. Yeah, I need to hear it all. A royal wedding between my daughter, your future queen, and Selena Valarian, the heir to Driftmark. Mm, they look like some crap about to pop off. I'm just saying. Heffa, what are you looking at me all funny for? You've been sleeping with my daddy before. You know what I'm saying? What if they have a rehearsal? 
probably taught that dance since from childhood. I'm clucking around like a chicken. I mean, <laughs> just like Look at him. You broke y'all bond. It wasn't her. You broke the bond. I'm just saying. Yeah. I know you ain't getting jealous when y'all just had this whole discussion. <clears throat> In the veil, men are made to answer for their crimes. And who are you? Sir Gerald Royce. Ah, yes. Terrible thing. I'm positively bereft. Such a tragic accident. It was no accident. Are you confessing some guilt, Sir Gerald? I am making an accusation. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at you, really. Lord. The truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. What inheritance? Lady Rhea and I had no heirs, as her husband, whatever she was due, now passes to me. She stood to inherit all of Runestone. Did you not? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, why you up there? After my niece's wedding, I plan to fly to the Eerie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. Hmm. He shut up real quick, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's like, what did you do? Oh, Lord. Lord, jeez. Mm -mm. I know who it is. Hmm? The handsome parable. Oh. Sir Kristen Cole. A sworn protector. I don't know if I can go through seven days. This. I'm going to need that <laughs> wedding to hurry up, come along. <laughs> this is too intense. <laughs> she just so disgusted with him. But you did what your daddy said. Mm -hmm. Bed the man. They make a handsome match, don't they? But the princess and Sir Lane. Mm -hmm. Come on, watch. What's your business? If you have something to say, Sir Joffrey, speak it. Sir Lane is quite dear to me. As I know, the princess is to you. But we should swear to each other to guard them and their secrets. Because if those are kept safe, and so are we all. Get your little raggedy butt away from me. You just be opening your mouth. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. He's gonna make the... What? What the heck going on? 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 Look, what are you leaving for? What the? Oh lord! What happened? Uh oh. Oh, what the? Are you serious? Oh. Oh Lord, what the world? What the world's going on? Lord Jesus. What he gonna do? Kill somebody? Oh my god, what you gonna fuck? He got cancer. God dang, do you see? <laughs> He just like, snapped uh, beat the heck out of that man because he figured it out. God damn, you beat the skin off his face. You beat the bricks off of him. Oh, yo, dude gone. Yo, dude gone. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. Jesus. I don't know if this marriage is going to go through. We stand here tonight in thanks and praise to join two souls as one. Instead of talking, we're just going to do it tonight. 
We're gonna go hang him, Steph, huh? Gloria. You're an idiot. Here now their vows. I'm yours. And you're mine. Well, he shouldn't have threatened him like that. Mm. So you're mine. Whatever may come. I told you, I don't think they're gonna be able to last no seven days. Renira of House Targaryen to be man and wife. Oh my god, he gonna kill himself. <laughs> now and forever. Mm. Sir Christian. I knew she was gonna come. How did I know Alice was gonna be right there? He gonna be her spy. That right? All right, then. He's picking up. <sighs> oh my God! Like for real, you beat the head, beat the skin. This skin was like <laughs> he crushed his face, like all his. Bones wow! Just I just crushed. cannot believe why, because he found out the yeah. he found out who he was. Yeah, well, you well. could have kept it. He should have kept that secret to himself. Exactly. Instead of walking up there and talking to the dude. Like, like you're going to keep our secret. Like, that was stupid of him to go up there and be like, hey. Yeah, and that's I what, know he, what yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, he shouldn't have, been, but don't do that, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I knew something, <clears throat> every fiber in my being was telling me Alice was going to come and stop him from killing himself. Because mm. now he's going to be her little bee. And report back to her all the time on on the princess mm. while your husband sit up there dying. You know what I'm saying? Every day you or you want him to protect your son. Which one is it? Because he can get the fire too. You know what I'm saying? He can get the he can get the burn burn too <laughs> from the dragons. You know because we do that. Damon can come and clear that whole place mm -hmm. out and become king. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love it. I love this oh, show Perfect. so that far. Dude, he is so, he's so, geez. I mean, she whipped it on him. She must have whipped it on good. <laughs> he ain't ready. never had none himself. Uh, that dude ready to sail across the ocean. Let's go get us some orange bushes. <laughs> go get some bushes of orange and get up sail across the sea. And when she said, I got to fulfill my duty as a what? queen. What of the seven realms? He like him, really? What what makes him think he she gonna give up the crown to go be with him? You a one night fling man? Just like if like you could have had a we good. have like my family has like millions of dollars if my family had millions of dollars and this dude right here said just give it up come with me <laughs> give it up and come with me <laughs> well, what you got first go I gotta, the, let's just go travel the streets wait a minute. I first i got like what you gonna bring to the table what you got because you know i'm accustomed to this stuff so uh, of course him all he got is that cloak <laughs> that she gave. he ain't even got that because he and he just in what what they say what he just in just destroyed that his vow yeah broke his oath and all yeah that. I think well, that, how did he break his oath by sleeping well, with the princess yeah because like the night the king king's guard is kind of like a nice wife you're not supposed to take a wife or have kids and stuff like that but well, he did take no wife well i think they have they, they, i think they have a vow of chastity but I don't That's know because said. in the Games of Thrones, them, know, them white cloaks, they was in the whorehouse oh, all the time. Yeah, I so, I so I think he took it serious. Yeah, I think he took it too serious. But. He went that out of y'all. Yeah, she went that out of him. He's like, come with me. Let's tell our own path. He's like, hell no. <laughs> be the queen. Be the queen. Cause that's what I always wanted, you know. Ain't nobody gonna give up stuff like that. It's about for love, for love. Man, he can not make it no. Love will only get you so man, far back. Man, let me just let me just go <laughs> crazy and just start beating people to death and shit. And then, then he punched the dude, the damn king consort, in the face. Baby, I love you, <laughs> and I ain't gonna give up millions for you. Oh, I know that. <laughs> 
I ain't giving a million. I love this man. I really do love this man. But, you know, I'm like, you come on with me, you know, share, share the whip. Share you know, his whip. Win the Powerball and be like, let's just, let's just leave that here and we'll go somewhere else. But he don't know. Yeah, be like, um, no, I'm sorry. But I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving the House of the Dragon. Loving it. It's, loving it. It's loving it. It's picking, picking up. up. Big Thyre. It's picking up. Big Thyre. Be like, oh my God. I said, you know, what is your fascination with the princess and the men that, that fall over her? Why? Because ain't nobody falling over you. You got you the queen. Hey, and that goes to show you that you can have everything in the world that you have ever wanted, but still be jealous of somebody else that has lesser than you. Oh, lesser than you. And she jealous of her. You the queen. You know what I'm saying? That's how people are in the world. You can have you can be rich, you can have all the accolades and everything. But you you jealous of somebody that's lesser than you. That you need to go get you need to go get delivered. <laughs> I'm sorry, what but you need some deliverance in your life. You messing around with. Yeah, I'm like It ain't affecting you. You, you, you did your thing. You've been sleeping with her daddy before she you ain't even tell your dad. So are you jealous because y'all don't have that relationship of her telling you everything? Probably. Well, you broke that. Yeah, you when you were sleeping you snuck, with snuck sleeping with her with, daddy the whole time, to, uh, consoling him, him. Oh. being his comfort, yeah. you 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 did Stick that. So no, I'm not gonna confide in you about nothing. I see you as the person you are. You my enemy. You know what they say: keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Yeah. And that's how she looking at it. That's how I look at it. But anyway. Thank you guys for joining us on this journey. I love this show. Oh my God, I love this show. And I can't wait to continue on with the episode. Y'all do have to bear with us because we both are working full time and our schedules are kind of like, it, it, it. so we they just don't match up. We don't get the same days off sometimes. So we are trying our best to get in as much as possible when we can. And thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey because I'm loving it. I hope y'all are loving it. Go ahead. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As always, give us a like and give us your comments. Until next time. Bye-bye.